First of all, I want to say I'm proud to be a Rotarian and all it does in our community and our state and around the world. Also, I'm proud to be a member of American Legion Post 105 for all the post does for our veterans promoting patriotism in our community. I'm proud to serve as the chairman of the outstanding program like Forest State. Rotary and the American Legion sponsor, sponsor two greatest youth organizations in the nation. Rotary Youth Leadership Award, better known as Riley, and you can see the, uh, the, all the uh, things on the wall that they did at, at their uh, three days uh, each year uh, in February, I think. Spring. Spring. Uh, and they do a fantastic job, and also Rotary has Boy State in their time. No two youth organizations in this world uh, like Riley and, and State and hopefully Girl State. Actually. We're, we're working toward that now. First of all, on the behalf of Post Commander Alton Scott and the American Legion, I want to recognize those who made it possible to send two boys to Boy State each summer. The LaFayette State Bank, I don't think anybody's here today. Bill Prim's not here. And uh, the Mail Rotary Club, who contribute uh, the delegate fees of $300 for each candidate. Also, the Sheriff's Office provided transportation to and from Tallahassee and uh, mail uh, free press for their coverage. We <coughs> didn't get you to turn on the siren this year. Most of us thought of it. They were trying to get they you. They were tired. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to sleep. <laughs> Had to but get up too early. I think they stayed up all night, to be honest with you. <laughs> I want to read from the, uh, <coughs> the manual. Uh, of Boy State, of the objectives of Boy State. Boy State is a nonpartisan <coughs> program which encompasses the following objectives to develop civic leadership and pride in American citizenship, to arouse a keen interest in the detailed study of our government, to develop in our citizens a determination to maintain our form of government, primarily by bringing them to the realization of how great it is to be an American. And final two objectives are taken from the preamble of the Constitution of American Legion. <clears throat> to inculcate a sense of individual obligation in the community, the state and nation, and to safeguard and transmit a posterity to the principles of justice, freedom, and democracy. So uh, that's what all, uh, uh, all state is all about. Later on, uh, Commander Scott's going to uh, go into some more detail. But each delegate is assigned to a political party which has no philosophy or platform until the delegates develop one. So these students, these boy staters, do that themselves. The delegates use basic laws and procedures of the state of Florida as a guide for their week. And, and above all, this is another thing that makes it great. The, uh, the capital uh, is used for the boy state legislature cabinet that, to add realism to the program. So it's my honor at this time uh, to uh, introduce to you. Uh, I got a real uh, first of all. I got a real shock on, on Monday. Uh, I was talking to uh, Darren, and he uh, he told me that uh, Octavio Escamilla, which is the first Hispanic kid uh, to go to the full state, moved off right before school started to Brandon. So he was not with us today. He's I guess at Brandon High School. So uh, we're sorry that that happened. This is the first time we've ever lost uh, lost one before the uh, spiritual and Roman Club or the American League. I want to finish by saying to be eligible for Boy State, a candidate must have at least a 3.2 unweighted GPA, must have completed their junior year, and have at least one full semester remaining in their senior year. So it's my pleasure at this time to introduce the 2011 Boy State Representative, Darren Brantley. Come forward, Darren. <laughs> Darren is also the president of the uh, senior FFA chapter, so uh, he's pulling double duty this year. Uh, he's going to give you a brief uh, outline of what they did and some of the things that uh, maybe the legislature passed. Now, I'm going to mention one thing. I mention this every year, but we have some people that, uh, not here last year. You see the white lines on each side of the highways? That was uh, the legislature at Boy State. That's what they passed, and the state picked it up, and that's where you see those two white lines. And they really uh, helped out uh, uh, running off the road, when especially pouring out rain.
Pennsylvania. So uh, some good things come from the, the legislature uh, at Boise State. <coughs> this give uh, guys your attention, and when he gets through, anybody have, has any questions, I'm sure he'd be glad to ask them. And uh, Al will uh, close out the program. <coughs> this year's Boise State was, I think, one of the most unforgettable that the counselors have probably had. We had a lot of different personalities combined. I was in the city known as Commander Point, which is in Mercer Green County. And within my county, we had people who were planning to become doctors, lawyers, professional baseball players. Many of them were on the right track to get to where they wanted to go. And I, I really liked the diversity that was within the program. There were ROTC, uh, students. There were IB program students and then people from rural counties, almost as small as they are. I'm not going to say <laughs> as small. <laughs> and I also learned that Florida ha or Mayo has recently became the smallest city in the state of Florida, which I was kind of proud of. <laughs> and then at Boise State, I've really received some of the best education in history. Their Florida history program with Bob Knight was probably the best educational experience I've had in a while. And I'm just really glad that I had the ch opportunity to go to Boise State this year. I really don't remember many of the, uh, the bills that we passed. It's not what my focus was. <laughs> but I'm, I really had a lot of fun. <laughs>